Hello everybody and welcome to Subnautica number 4. So, it's been quite a bit, but I'm back now. Fourth episode, um, wait, I'm already getting a radio transmission? I- what? Okay, whatever, let's see what it is. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last Another thing the captain pod? did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, so that's interesting. I actually have two life pods now that I have to go to. So this one's 250 meters and that one's 300 meters deep. Okay, so these are both not that deep. They're pretty shallow. I wouldn't say super shallow. Of course, I'm a, you know, I'm a baby. One of the biggest things at the end of um, the last video that I did or got, I guess, per se, was this mobile vehicle bay, which what pisses me off is that I still have to craft um, these machines, or ships, whatever. So I'm gonna need titanium ingot, power cell, glass, and lubricant. I should have most of that, actually. I know I should probably also get to work on, like, I should probably also, like, start making, like, some sort of base or something. Oh, that's, that's not, like, super important. Anyways, um, oh, right, I had the purple tablet, I forgot. So, okay, I have the glass. I can try making a titanium ingot. Oh, I need ten titanium? I can use, get titanium from metal salvage. There we go. Do, do I just need one? So I just need a power cell and a lubricant. Those should both be easy. The power cell might be a bit more difficult, but... Eh, it's whatever. Do I have acid mushroom and copper? Let's see my stash of illegal substances, and I have no copper. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot I had the creature egg. The big fat sack. I forgot how to get lubricant. How do I get lubricant? Oh, I need to get lube. I need to, I need to lube up. I shouldn't have said that. Yo, what was that? I just heard like an explosion. I really hope that was just like a fish or something and not like the Altera. Is that the name of the ship? The Altera? I also have no idea. Like I'm constantly scared that if I waste time, that's bad because like there's time related events. It's gonna... You butthole. You butthole. You suck. You all suck. That's a crash fish. Holy Jesus, why are there so many in there? <laughs> I need one more copper. All right, guys. Well, now I should have everything to craft the sea mall. Is a fast, safe mode of transport. Oh, I got an achievement. Remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Yeah, I don't care. Wait, yo, why are they building it like, oh. Yes, my sea mall. Give, give it to me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yo. Oh, this is sick. This is actually sick. Okay, well, there is limited power, I believe. That's life pod 19. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to life pod 12 first, because I got that one first. Not even gonna waste any power, I'm just going straight for it. Um, did I just kill a fish? Wait, can I? Oh, I can kill the fish by ramming into them! <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. They call me the street demon for a reason. Wait, can I kill all of these ones? Oh, dang. Oh, that's tough. Anyways. Oh. Am I over here? Oh, yeah, I'm over here. Look at this. Look at all of those uh, ghost guys down there. I think this is the farthest I've ever been out. I don't think I've been this far out before. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be real. I feel like I'm about to piss my pants. I am scared. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Palm damage imminent. Okay, so I can only go 200 meters right now. Oh, what? What are those? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Yo, yo, yo. I just need to get in and get out. Yeah, I don't care. What else is there in here? Okay. See mom. New PDA data. Phew! Okay, I did not like that. At all. I'm gonna go look at that in a second. New but... PDA data. Oh my god. I need to enter. Volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. So is this like a volcanic zone? 
or something? I mean, I know the electromagnet is probably those electric eels, right? I guess I can come back there later when I've gotten, like, better stuff to go down deeper. Oh, <laughs> just killed a man feeling good. I need to do some more research on this sea moth. Because I need to get the best sea moth possible. Now, I do believe, again, like I've said before in previous episodes, I have seen, uh, like, a lot of stuff about this game really more than I should if I'm playing it myself for the first time for a YouTube ch uh, series, but, um, I do know you can get more upgrades to the Seamoth for the depth, like, you can go down deeper. I mean, just being butt naked, even with the sea glide going down there to get that life pod thing, whew, it was not fun. But it was an in and out thing, it was... Oh, just a one-time trip, like going down to going to Walmart and seeing a lot of fat people and being like, I'm getting out of here. But you had to get the feastables, right? You had to do it. Repulsion cannon applies percussive force to entities in range. Oh, so it's it's just like the propulsion cannon, except it pushes stuff away. Why do I have that? I don't even know how to get magnetite. That's probably something that's like really deep. Modification station or the standard fabricator a a a atomically. I almost said automatically. I'm not dyslexic. I swear. Rearranges raw materials to form complex devices. The mod station is able to combine complex devices to enhance their function. Huh. Scanner room. This advanced habitat module can transform a small outpost into a burgeoning science and exploration station. A 3D display in the center of the room stores local to topographical data. Okay, so that's stuff for, like, when I build a base. Now, I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I doubt I'm gonna start this episode. I don't even know if I have a habitat thing, the habitat maker. Anyways, Aurora Survivors, Life Pod 12, Medical Officer Dan V's crew log. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. Oh. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Yeah, well guess what? You did. You're definitely very dead. So apparently I can make water out of bleach? I don't want to go to that other place if that's 300 meters and I don't have any upgrades. Because I'm- that means- that pretty much means- Because like what I did before was manageable, but that was 250 meters. Uh, habitat builder. Let's see, because I finally think I should pr probably make one of these. Especially if I'm gonna need you know, upgrades for the sea moth. Like, I don't know how to do that, and I might need a habitat for that. Let's see, computer ship, wiring kit, and battery. Oh, yeah. Alright, there we go. Easy dubs. <laughs> it's all- that's all I have to do to repair it. Well, it looks like my repair tool actually has a good use now. Okay, let me see what I have. What do I have? Oh, my inventory is completely full. Okay. So I have two copper, one gold, two silver, four titanium, two lead, two quartz. Don't know if this will be enough, but... Okay. All I need now is the battery, and then I should be good. Ooh, wait, new blueprint synthesize, advanced wiring kit. Oh, I didn't know there was an advanced one now. Alright, um, well, I don't need that, though. Uh, battery, I need two acid mushrooms, two copper. Okay, well, I know what that rumbling was before. This is like... Oh, it's a geyser something. Yo, give that to me. Gold! We've struck gold and silver. Yes, copper. W. Yo, chot. You get so, so many resources. I need to get all of them. Can I go any deeper into it? Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Phew! That is very burny, but I should have enough copper now. Did I pick up all the copper I need? Yes, I did. Okay, well, my inventory is full, and I have everything I need and want. So I'm gonna go back to the base and make a habitat builder. All right, tools, where is it? Habitat builder, there we go. I really hope I haven't already made one of these, but I do not, yeah, okay, I didn't. It's designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. I should place the scanner. Okay. It is pitch black. So, oh, so this is, I can just access all of my blueprints from here. 
Nice. Battery charger? You can charge multiple batteries simultaneously. Yes, please. And a locker. I need that. Large freestanding storage. Wall locker as well. That sounds good. Ooh, aquarium. Self-sustaining aquatic habitat. Oh, I can put fish in there. Okay, I, I need to do that. I need to do that. Anyways, I'm gonna wait to build my little hub of commerce and industry until the morning because I don't want to build in the pitch black. I also still have no idea where I'm gonna be building. So actually, I'm gonna use this time to get my sea moth and uh, use my lights to look around for a good building spot. Oh, new radio thing. Wait, crap, I need to go check that out. If this is another life pod, like chat, leave me alone. I'm trying to do your life pods one at a time here. Oh my god, it's another life pod, isn't it? This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Wait, where the hell is the transmission for life pod six? There's no waypoint for life pod six. Oh, so it doesn't... Oh, I have to find it myself. It's like a clue. Okay, crew requested assistance navigating radiation, sunk to approximately 100 meters, located in an area dense with red grass near a number of neutral natural arches and rock stacks. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters west northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. What is this? Oh, yo! Chot! Chot! What? Where am I? Yeah, okay, I'll scan it. Jelly shroom. I did not mean to go down here, but this is... 30 seconds. Oh, shoot. I need to go, like, right now. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Oh, there's an artific artificial structure? So that must be, like, an alien thing. Okay, I did not know that existed. That is an entirely new biome. Also, the whole possible predatory thing kind of scares me a bit. Okay, fun fact, I may or may not have looked it up, but apparently I can't- I have no idea where Life Pod 4 is right now, because I'm supposed to get a transmission for it here, and I haven't. Life Pod 4 is completely separate from my Life Pod. Apparently, to find it, I have to go to- I need to go to, like, near the Aurora. It's not the Altera. I messed up the ship name, like I always do. It's the Aurora. Altera is the company that made the Aurora. Screw this, you know? Oh, 300 meters. That is deep, man. That is deep. I have no idea what's gonna be down there as well. Oh god, I don't want to go out here naked, man. Oh, oh, I don't like this. No! Why is it in a trench? Why is it in a trench? Do I- do I think I can make it? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency I'm going decreased. for it, man. Screw this. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Hi there, Life Pod 19, what is up? Ultra high capacity tank. Yeah, okay, that's cool and all, but I don't really care about that right now. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, you know what? This isn't as scary as I thought it would be. There's nothing down here. Thank God. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is worth it. There's nothing in here. Oh my god. Okay, well that falls off quite a bit. So I think since it is the pitch black nighttime, I think I'm gonna go head back up to the surface. Aurora rendezvous point dry land. Oh, that's what I got from it! I got their rendezvous point! Wait, dry land? This doesn't look like dry land. Oh wait, it's just because it's dark. Um... Okay, well, my- yeah, my sea glide's about to die, so I'm gonna wait until morning to explore this island. Don't worry, it's only waiting for me, not for you guys. <laughs> Alright, well, now that it is, uh, daytime again, I'm going to explore this rendezvous point. Yeah, whoa, this- uh, I'm gonna be honest, this looks like something out of Raft, like, just the island. Except, well, it's a lot more alien, but- Dude, there's, like, a little cave. Oh, no way. Is there gonna be an underwater cave? Oh, I'm figuring- Oh, this is where I'm supposed to bring my sea moth, isn't it? 
Is this how I'm supposed to enter? Ancient floater? Stasis rifle fragment? Wait, don't I already have this? Oh wait, no, I guess I don't. What the hell is this? It's like an abandoned disinfected water. Oh, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. They had like abandoned places here. Blueprint. Or, well, they have abandoned places. They weren't abandoned before. Are you kidding me? You're giving me a radio transmission Ow. now? What is scuttling? I have a weapon. Oh, it's you, you <laughs> bastard. Die. I hope you rot in hell. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and make this qu quick. Another purple tablet. Okay. Need a blueprint acquired. I don't know why there's another purple tablet here, but... Ooh, Ultra Glide fins. W's in the chat. Anyways, what do you have to offer? Oh, it's watermelons. Chinese potato. Huh. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, well, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and... Ooh, my god. I got a lot of blueprints. Okay. Alright, Degasi Survivors. Huh, what does this mean? This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. Visions are getting worse. So he's Our schizo. Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. Oh, so they're dead. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. How uplifting and interesting. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rate oh, that's is too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Oh, it's yeah, it's a warper thing, right? with it. or an alien it thing. Might be worth something. Stand down, chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to. Oh, come it's to the push. purple tablet that was in one of the things. Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Here's the second one, storm. Son. I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Bart Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Maida, the cut-price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Maida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken our life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, 
She'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue in this part of space that could be months. Or even years. Hello, radio. What do you have for me today? Uh, oh, it's from Life Pod 13. Coordinates attack. Live pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location okay. updated to PDA. It's here. This is the mushroom forest, right? Yeah, I've been here before, I'm pretty sure. Ah, here we go. We're gonna have to get out of this. Yo, 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 where are you? Okay, whatever. That dude does not want to talk. Hi. Integrating new PDA data. Is that it? Is that all there is here? Really? There's no, like, supply crate or anything? Like a data storage box or whatever. There's really nothing here. Oh wait, moon pool fragment! Holy guacamole! Okay, actually chat, this is really good. I need that. Oh, it's 50% though, I need more. Alright, look at that. No more life pods out there. I've done everything that I can do right now, except for life pod 6. I'm not gonna worry about that right now though. This was a very painful episode. It was a lot of just going around to like life pods and stuff. However, next episode I'm gonna work on more just like less story stuff like making myself a base finally and uh yeah so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one adios i'm the best